I hope they were real with each other. And there was like a genuine human connection, right? That I that seems well, Johnson to be, wasn't a genuine guy. So it we're wasn't. All certainly not. Well, I need yeah. to I need, need to read those thousands <laughs> of pages. Uh, I've been way too focused on Hitler. <laughs> I, I was going to say, one of my goals in coming to this is I was like, I got to get Lex into two things because I know he'll love it. I know he'll love LBJ if he st- has the, takes the time to read the books. Really? 100%. He's the most- Of over- all the presidents? I didn't say you'll love him, but you'll love the books about him because the books are a story of America, the story of politics, the story of power. This is the guy who wrote The Power Broker. Mm-hmm. These books are up there with Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire by Edward Gibbon in terms of how power works. The study of power. Exactly. That, no, that's, that's why Carroll wrote the books. And that's why the books are not really about LBJ. They're about power in Washington and about the consolidation of power post New Deal, the consolidation then, or the using the levers of power like Johnson knew in order to change the House of Representatives, the Senate of the United States, and ultimately the presidency of the United States, which ended in failure and disaster with Vietnam. Don't get me wrong. but. He's overlooked for so many of the incredible things that he did with civil rights. Nobody else could have done it. No, no one else could have gotten it done. 